Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, Jose, David, Gerardo, Hi. Eli. Hi, Eli. Walter, how's everybody? Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Is everybody okay? Hi. Good. Good? Yes. yes. All right, teacher. very good. Nice. Okay, very good. So, guys, we're going to start today. We're going to keep on talking about section three. Yesterday we had, we were talking about section 3.3, .3, I believe it was, and it was the uh, models, I mean, request with models with if clauses and uh, gerunds, all right? So today we're not going to talk about that. Today we're going to go on with the next topic, which is also in section three, all right? Do you know what the topic is about? Guys, anybody? I don't know. No, oh my goodness. Come on, you guys. My dear teacher. Hello, Good evening. my dear Elmer. Uh -huh. yeah, is, yeah. And number one is request with a if clause if the present tense. And the number two, request uh -huh. with a, a clause and the past tense. Right. Number okay. three is with gerunds. All right, Number very good. Four is with uh, uh, close and models. All right, very good. Okay. It is is a begin beginning the uh, start with a less formal and, and more formal. And the, and the most formal one, right? Okay, so we were yeah. saying yesterday that if we know the rules, they're going to help us a lot. All right, so they're not very complicated. We just have to know when to use simple present, when to use simple past. And, or when just to use the models, all right? That's what we studied yesterday. And then I share the presentation with you guys, okay? Yes. Oh, that's a lot, of, a lot of music today. What's that noise? It's, it's, uh, it's my son teacher, he's a... Uh, Oh, he's playing music. Yeah, oh yeah. my goodness. All right, Elmercito, I'm sorry. Lo voy, a, lo voy a poner mute. Oye. Hi, Noe. <laughs> All right, very good. That's okay, Elmer. Don't worry about it. Thank you for putting your microphone off anyway. So today, guys, as I mentioned, we're going to talk about indirect questions. Okay, so I don't know if you study the platform. Did you study the platform for this topic or not? Guys, did you study the platform for today or not really? No. No? Oh, all right. Oh, I see Three, your daughter. Two. All right. You neither? You didn't either? Oh, my goodness, niños. Estamos en la casita. <laughs> no, no todos. Okay, I'm kidding. That's okay. All right. So that's okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to share this with you. Uh, let me see here. Just give me a second. I just want to tell you. Here. Hold on. Hold on, just give me a second. Okay, so this is what we're going to study, 3.8 on the platform, I believe it is. So if you haven't seen it, this is what we're going to study. All right, so we're talking about indirect, indirect or indirect requests, whichever way you wanna pronounce it's okay. So we have statements, we have imperatives, we have yes, no questions, we have WH questions. Now. This is what I want, you, I want you to know. We have direct questions. A direct question is when I ask you directly something for something, all right? So I can tell you, are you okay? All right, for example, right? I talk to Jose and I, I see Jose, he's not feeling well. And I said, Jose, are you okay? And I ask him a question, okay? Or I said, Noemi, do you have money? All right, or I say, Elmer, um, I don't know. Can you take me to the hospital? All right, so those are direct questions, okay? Now, indirect questions or indirect requests, they are said by someone else, okay? They are not directly talking, I'm not directly talking to you. I am talking to you using someone else. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? All right, so uh. like a third person, for example, I, for example, Noemi, if David says something and you did not hear David, 
and you say, teacher, what did David say? All right, or what did David ask? And I said, oh, David asked if you could repeat your sentence. All right, you're not asking David, you're asking me about what he requested. Okay? Mm, okay. All right, so that's why it's not direct request. Yesterday, yesterday I was saying, could you help me? All right, or is it okay if you come to my house? I am asking you directly, okay? But in this case, I'm not asking you directly. I'm asking what someone requested that maybe you listened about, okay? So we're gonna go over this uh, four type of indirect requests. We're not gonna cover them all today. We're probably gonna study two today and then two uh, tomorrow, all right? So don't worry about look like. We're not gonna cover the whole topic just in one night. We're gonna do it tomorrow. So for statements, we see we have here. David, can you read the statements? Where is Jeff? David, can you read it? Okay. Uh, uh, what column? The first. Uh, column. The first one. A statement. Yes, Jeff. A uh -huh. statement. Uh, Jeff, Tony is having a party. Okay. Tony is having a party. Indirect request introduced by that. All right, we're using that right now. All right, uh, Jose Rodriguez, can you read that one, please? Okay. Could you tell Jeff that John is having a party? All right. So you see the difference between the statement or direct uh, request with the indirect request, okay? And we're in this case, we're using that. So we have Jeff, uh, Tony is having a party. All right, and then in the indirect request, we can use a model verb. In this case, we're using could. Could you tell Jeff that, that can be optional. You may use it or you may not, and it's okay. Could you tell Jeff that Tony's having a party? All right, so I'm not telling Jeff directly. I'm asking someone to tell him, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right we have imperatives okay. okay imperatives i said um let me see who else i have here ellie can you read imperatives imperative jeff don't don't be late jeff don't be late very good and uh gerardo can you read in the indirect request using infinitives okay can you tell jeff no to be late. To be. Can you tell Jeff not to be late? Okay, now what I want you, thank you. What I want you to notice here, for example, in number one, it says Jeff, Tony's having a party. When we can use could or we can use can, all right? Could you tell, so that's the structure, we use could and then you, because I'm asking you to tell someone else, all right? Because maybe you will see that person. Could you tell Jeff, or could you tell Jeff, Tony is having a party? Now, the tense is the same. Is having, is having. You don't change it. Okay, you understand that? Yes. Yeah, all right. Very good. And in this one, imperatives. Remember that imperatives are commands or are instructions or are orders that I give you that you need to make, all right, or that you need to follow. So an imperative is like, for example, I say, um, don't come, all right? Or, or open the window, all right? Or shut your microphone, all right? Or turn on your microphone. Those are imperatives. Now here, we're using, again, we're using a model verb, can. Can you tell Gerardo or Walter or Rocio or Ana, can you tell Jeff? not to be late. Look at this because this is an imperative change. I mean, it changes from don't to no to. You don't say don't. Can no you to. tell Jeff don't to be late? You can say that, all right? Because you're using an infinitive, all right? In this sentence, in this column right here, you're using an infinitive, okay? So you need to use the not because it's not conjugated, all right? Si se fija aquí, es el don't porque está siendo conjugado. All right, but in here, 
como estamos usando en infinitivo, it changes to, el don't pasa a not. Do you understand that? Guys, do you understand yes. that? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Yes, yes sure? teacher. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Okay, okay. we're going to stop right here and I want to show you something else. I want to show you this. Um, hold on, I just want to see something. Do, 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 do. This, we're going to keep on using this uh, presentation for the rest of the week, but I just want to show you something here. Okay. Can you, can you, um, we're just kind of going to, we're going to go over this really quickly because we're going to keep on watching this the whole week. But for example, you have, there are an infinitive ways to make indirect questions, or in this case, we can make indirect requests. Not all indirect questions are questions, but they are polite statements with courage or response. Some common polite expressions include, but the one I want you to look is could or can. Could you tell me? Can you tell me? All right, so these are very, very important that we're using right now. But uh, as, as we work on this through the week, we're going to take a look at these other ones, all right? But these are some expressions that you may have, not only for requests, but for any type of questions that you may ask indirectly, all right? So if you want, you can take a picture. Again, I'm going to be sending this to you. But today, just let's concentrate on could you or can you, all right? Because those are the ones for requests that we usually use, all right? Do you know what I'm talking about, guys? Do you have, do you have a question or you're okay with it? Um, uh -huh. and, and the use, the if, a uh, whether uh -huh. is the, is the in, in the sentence. Yes, we're gonna see those ones, Noe, because if you notice here, hold on, here, we have to use, at, um, we need to use these ones too, all right? And as, as we go on on the uh, platform, if you see it here, we're using it, but we're not gonna talk about those today. I just wanna talk about these two today, all mm -hmm. right? So we're talking about the first two, and then tomorrow we're gonna talk about yes, no questions, and that's where you use the introduced, but you, uh, you can use either if or whether, and then we're gonna talk about WH questions, but we're talking about this tomorrow, all right? Okay. Okay, so uh, here we have, uh, let me see here. Just give me a second here. Hold on guys. It was a very long day today, so I need to see something here so I can share with you. All right, now, I want you to know also that when we talk about um, indirect questions, that's like, they are very, very common, okay? So there's nothing that is not like, not formal. They are very like oftenly used, all right? We use them a lot, especially when we talk about someone else. All right, so I said, ah, Noe, could you tell, um, I don't know, could you tell, Rocio, all right, to share the class with us. I'm gonna go back here and I want you to, to notice something. Instead of using the name, what can I use, guys? Do you know what can I use? Instead of using uh, the name of the person, instead of saying, could you tell Jeff? What can I say instead of Jeff? Do I use, could, I, could you tell he or could you tell him? What would I use? King, maybe teacher. Could you tell him Tony is having a party? What if I have uh, Lisi? Could you tell she or could you tell her? Her? Yeah, her. All right. So uh, try to remember <laughs> that we're not going to use personal pronouns. All right. So in this case, we're using the other ones. Could you tell him? Could you tell her? 
all right? So the, like the object pronouns, okay? So that, that's a rule that you need to remember. Here, we can omit the name because for example, if I'm talking to David and Walter is in the class or here, and I say, uh, David, could you tell him, I don't have to mention Walter because he's the only one here. All right, so I can use the object pronoun by saying, could you tell him to turn off the radio? All right, you understand that? Mm. Oh, hello, hello. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. All right. Uh -huh. It's complicated. Uh -huh. It is a little bit complicated, but you don't have to worry about it because, I mean, at the beginning it's complicated, but not so much. In here, remember that that can be optional. You can use that or you can like omit it and it's okay. Now, what I want you to know is that we use could plus you because I'm talking to you. So you ask someone else, all right? Could you tell Jeff? So here we have, we can say tell or we can use ask or we can say, acuérdese que lo que estamos haciendo es pidiéndole a usted, en este caso yo le estoy pidiendo a usted que le pida o que le diga o que le recuerde a otra persona. Entonces este verbo acá puede cambiar, puede ser tell, puede ser ask. All right, usually those are the ones that we play with. Le puede decir o le puede pedir o le puede preguntar, all right? Jeff, so the structure is the model verb, the subject, the verb tell or ask, the object, and then the rest of the sentence or the rest of the request. Using, in this case, you're using the same uh, grammatical structure that we use here. All right, now, when we talk about imperatives, esta, esto acá, de este lado de mi columna, son las, um, Las imperatives normales, all right? Que no, no, estoy no estoy pidiendo a alguien que le diga a otra persona. I'm telling you directly, okay? Pero cuando yo le pido a Noe que le diga a Walter, entonces puedo usar can o could, depende, is whatever you're saying, pero la estructura sigue. You, the subject, tell or ask him. Si fuese positiva, le quito el not y le pongo el to. All right. Okay. To come to class, for example. Can you, uh -huh. uh, can you tell Noe to come to class? All right. So to because it's infinitive. When it's saying imperatives, it means indirect requests pass on infinitives. Yes. Okay. Something that I want you to remember: when it's an imperative, your indirect question or indirect request they switch to infinitives. All right. And when it's a statement, it depends on the tense that you're using. It's the same tense that you're using here. But here, if you notice, we have to, because it's an infinitive, plus the verb. I can say to come, to study, to repeat, uh, to watch, to, um, I don't know, to um, explain, to speak, to call, whatever the verb that you're going to use. But remember that you need, that you need to use it in infinitives, because your original sentence is in imperatives. You understand that? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Everybody? Maybe uh -huh. teacher. Maybe teacher. I... I eh, Ajá, con diga, diga. Considero que, que cuando es indirecto es cuando nos referimos a otras o a otra persona. Cuando Ahí es, es donde cambia. Sí. Lo que pasa es que como son eh, preguntas o request, cuando requerimos algo, pedimos algo, entonces es una, es una forma indirecta. Quiere decir que no se lo estoy diciendo directamente a usted. Una cosa es que yo estoy hablando con usted, Elmer, y le diga, puede apagar la luz. Otra cosa es que yo le diga a Gerardo, Gerardo, ¿le puede pedir a Elmer que apague la luz? ¿Ya? Ese, sí, eso se vuelve una... Una Unas tercera terceras persona. o tercera persona. Exacto. That's right. Uh -huh. Ok, so in that case usamos ese tipo de estructura, el que estábamos viendo. ¿Ya? Uh -huh. Todos chiflando en la loma. No, por eso, ay, yo necesito que no chiflen en la loma. A ver, los demás compañeros. Ya le entendí eso que, que estaba mencionando con, con, con Elmer. 
Sí. Pero ya al estructurar la, la oración es la que ahí como que me enchivola un poquito. No sé si compañero, Ay, voy, espera, espera, igual. Espera. Ahorita le ayudo, espérame. Ok. Ajá, otros compañeros que tengan la misma duda de no es solo no es. <risa> Ella habla, es la vocera. Ah, vaya. Pero, pero no es solo de decirle, ¿eh, teacher? O, o, o sea, si yo le digo, ¿podría jalarle el pelo a ella? Ya es, ya es una... Ya, ya es... Tenía sí, que me refiero a que, a que puede usarse con otros verbos. Sí, no, usted puede usar el verbo, el verbo que sea. Ajá, media vez hay una tercera persona, eh, cae en este caso. Cae en ese caso. Ahora, lo que es importante, necesito que entendamos aquí, es porque hay varias formas... Dice, vale. se puede así como esta, así, could you ask no a question? Could you ask no a question, yes? Mm -hmm. Could you ask no a question? Yeah, you can do that. All right. Ahora, eso es cae en statement. Ok, ahora, en imperative se tiene que acordar, y esa es otra de las reglas, que cuando es imperative, su direct question or su direct request, cuando lo pase a in que usar infinitivo. El, yeah. Sería que, con que el uso you, del to. Uh, con el uso del to. Yeah. That's right, no, yeah. ¿Cómo sería la que le dije yo en este caso? Can Repítamela. You, uh, yo le dije, could you ask no a question? No ah, a lo que pasa es que ahí tendría que decir ask her a question porque es un imperative. Oh. O sea, usted me está ordenando o oh, a, a mí, en el caso que yo le haga una pregunta, no es, ask her a question. Entonces sería, could you or can you tell uh, Jessica to ask her a question? Ah, yeah. como que a otra persona le voy a claro. decir yo que le Exacto. diga a usted. Es que, que es lo que decía Elmer, aquí hay una tercera persona <coughs> en medio. Se oye raro. Que no la vemos. <ríe> Ajá, en este caso no, pero póngale que estuviéramos aquí mucha gente, que no podemos ahorita. Pero imagina, entonces hay otras, otras personas acá y de repente es como que yo le digo, eh, yo estoy ocupada y de repente yo le digo a usted, Eli, Eli, ¿puede pedirle a Noé que encienda la televisión? ¿Ya? Entonces usted, Eli, va y le dice, eh, can you, y ya da el mensaje, ¿no? ¿Ya, Eli? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes, yes. Que right. ya es la que es la del cuadro ya de acá, digamos. Que este, este cuadro. Ajá. Ya, right. ya esa es la cuando ya le pregunta a la tercera uh -huh. persona. Por eso aquí arriba, si se fijan en el encabezado, es indirect requests. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Porque es indirectamente. No hay una okay. forma exacta. All right. Que no se lo estoy diciendo yo a usted, sino que llaman de alguien. O le estoy pidiendo a usted que le diga a alguien que realice eso. All right. Le va a traer las manos. All right, questions, Walter. Walter, Walter. Eh, mm, no, teacher. Seguro, Waltercito. Sure. <laughs> ok, hagamos lo siguiente. Vamos a trabajar ahorita con imperatives. Piense, if I'm working with Ramos, for example, Ramos, you think of two imperatives and I think of two imperatives. All right. So, podemos decir, por ejemplo, Walter, uh, turn on the TV and Lizzie, eh, pick up the garbage. Okay, those, those are two imperatives. Y Ramos, you're going to think about two other imperatives. Lo que vamos a hacer es trasladar esos imperatives a indirect requests. And you have to use infinitives. Lo mismo que está diciendo en, in, in an imperative way, You have to say the same thing using indirect request using infinitives. You understand what you're going to do? Yeah. Ya, yeah? siempre trate yeah. de escribirlo para que yo cuando entre a su grupo pueda verlo. Ahorita solo estamos trabajando imperatives pasándolo a indirect request using infinitives, ¿ok? okay. ¿Puede repetir los que vamos a trabajar, por favor? Ahorita solo, ahorita solo de imperatives a indirect request with infinitives. Ajá. Uh -huh. All right, Pero es que usted dijo de pique and garbage. Ah, no, cualquiera, de eso fue Ah, cualquiera. Ah, ok. 
O okay. sea, en su grupo, lo que quiero que haga es que yo pienso en dos in, in imperatives y usted piensa en dos imperatives. ¿Ok? Ok. Las decimos y luego juntas, en este caso lo vamos a tratar de pasar an indirect questions using, using what? Infinitives. ¿Ya? Ok. Ok. Ok, teacher. Veamos cómo funciona porque quiero ver cómo la estructuran y luego vamos con la otra. Ok. Okie dokie. There you go, guys. Please open your rooms. Mira, hay conferencia de prensa, si la Rafa que la sintoniza en radio o algo. En radio la van a pasar. Solo empujar. O que le baje entonces a la tele porque él se le olvida que todo se oye. Pues póngalo en tres.
No jam. Y the indirect request, todas son, todas son preguntas. Dios mío. De alguna manera. ¿Y por ah, qué están juntos? Yo... No sé, usted nos dejó juntos. Yo no. Mejor porque, porque este hombre me aclara todas las ideas. Vaya. Ah, pero enséñale, Elmer, las oraciones que hicimos. No, ella me puede enseñar. Apúrese, Elmer, por Dios. <risa> Jerry, Fíjese go out. Que, Ajá. Could you tell Jerry to go out? Ok. Ajá. No sé si oyen bien, bien, bien simple si Joshua made the Ah, homework. pero, 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 el tubo. Después de Jerry. Ah. Para hacerlo infinitivo. Ah, tú. Mm. Eso es lo que me hace falta. Ahora, to si fuese out. negativo, usted le dice, Ajá. dígale a, a, a Jerry que no salga. Entonces le dice, could you tell Jerry not to go out? Entonces aquí tengo que decir to make. That's right. Y quítele el makes. Ajá. Porque como to es make. infinitivo, no lo conjugo. <ríe> Con jugo o sin jugo. Con cafecito. Ay, no me to, tanto poder. To, to wake, Por los to, tres clavos de Cristo y ahora. To drive to house. Sí, ese, ese to, to me faltaba. Por eso se sentía así mero fuerte. Uh -huh. Ahora, para el que no se confunda, eh, Elmer y Noé, después del Jerry y después del Josué, póngale coma. En la primera oración. Es como que le digo, Jerry, go out. Jerry. A la chingada. No está grabando. Batis. ¿Cómo no? <risa> Sorry. Hay que quedar entonces. Can you tell Josué to make the homework? Very good. María, wake up. Can you tell María to wake up? Rodrigo, drive. Drive. To the house. house. Or drive home. Mejor. Drive, drive home. home. Mm -hmm. Drive home. Oh, okay. Right. Uh -huh. to right. Right. To... Ahorita dicen que hay, eh, hay conferencia de prensa, ¿no? Ah, de verdad. No, no está. No está todavía. Ah, de verdad. No, no está todavía, dicen los de Cuatro Visión. Uh -huh. <risa> Pero ustedes no les ponen tanta bola a las. Hay un montón de información a veces negativa. Y eso lo pone uno como más tuturuleco en el... Todas las cosas. Entonces. Yeah. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo te habrá tu ruleta, mi estimadísima? Lo que pasa es que. <risa> Lo que pasa, Elme, es que eh, esa desinformación o la gente, cualquier cosita que oyen en otro lado, lo asumen como que de acá. Ajá. Y entonces eso te pone como en el que hay algo está pasando, eh, que, que porque no han informado acá ni nada y te empiezas a abrir. Uh -huh. 
Ajá, puro, puro psicológico la vaina. Sí, 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 sí. Ah, pero mire, ahí caemos, caemos mucho aún la gente que se supone maneja la parte psicológica, porque yo tengo compañeros que son profesionales en área, ¿eh? en esa área, y andan más afligidas que nosotros. Pues sí, uh -huh. pero, pero a dónde cae, pues, o sea, ahí es donde uno ve que estamos bien jodidos realmente, porque ni uno, pues, que es estudiado, o sea, va a caer en ese error, pues. Eh, lo que pasa es que eso yo creo que no es de estudio, no estudio, sino de cómo estamos en la parte, en la parte, eh, cómo estamos de sensible o no sensible. Yo considero que más de desinformación, los que manejamos, eh, por ejemplo, las informaciones de las compañías, nos preocupamos en el sentido de que sabemos que esta vaina eh, eh, económicamente está jodida. Entonces... Y eso, eso no es desinformación. Entonces, y usted sabe que esto no va informado o no informado. Yo no creo que vaya para, para, para corto plazo. O sea, sí, no, sí. no se va, no va para el primero de abril. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, no. ahí es donde nosotros nos ponemos qué tanto van a aguantar las empresas. Y aunque el presidente o el ministro diga, Mire, las empresas tienen que pagar y si no tienen dinero, ¿de dónde van a pagar? Esa es la, la realidad. Mm. Ay, Dios mío. Sí, pues, pero ese es otro, el... ese es otro ¿Por? tema de este tema. Ese es otro. Ajá. Sí. Ajá, porque yo me refiero más a la desinformación de, de que la enfermedad. De la enfermedad. Ajá, que, que, verdad. Ajá. Sí. Pero Niña, ya... yo lo voy a ir sí. a otro, otro grupo. <risa> Usted diga con, con la plática, no me preocupe. <risa> como un rebrote. Yeah. Primero Dios que no sea así. Hello, hello, uh, ladies. I mean, ladies. Uh, Hi, <laughs> Ana. Ana, I'm Ramos, I'm sorry. I'm, es que no terminé. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't finish my sentence. <laughs> All right, okay, let's see. So, um, what do you have for the sentences? Uh, the sentence um, are... Uh, be quiet mm -hmm. and imperative. That's right. And yes. In infinity. Uh huh. Could you tell everyone to be quiet? Excellent. I like that sentence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I like that request. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the the another example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do homework mm -hmm. and imperatives. And could you tell him not to go out? Is another example okay. uh, for infinity. All right. Okay. Nice. Okay. Very okay. good. Okay. Okay. Right. Very good. Okay. I'm going to go check another group and then I want to show you something that I have a presentation that I want you to, to have. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Yeli. Wow. Hi. And Gerardo, you finished? Yes, I mean, we finished, but I have uh, some doubts. Okay, tell me your doubts. Uh, uh, imperative or indirect request? An okay. imperative? So, both, yes. So, in imperative, so you can switch it back. Um, Gerardo, sí, Gerardo, hey, please tell me when you get home and the indirect re request, can you tell him to tell me when you get home? Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Sí. Uh, the okay. second is, don't open the door. Mm -hmm. In the indirect request is, can you tell him to no. Can you tell Anna not to open the door? Okay. Okay. Uh, Could you the, tell Anna? The third, okay. uh -huh. the third is Marcos eat at the school. In the rest okay. of the quest, could you tell Marcos to eat mm. at the school? Could, would you tell In Marcos? the last one, uh -huh. The last one is, 
Jose, wash your clothes. Okay. Can you say, can you say Jose to wash the clothes? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Eli and Gerardo, before you have, like you asked me the questions that you uh, wanted to ask, when you say, all right, could you say him? No, could you say to him? El tel lo ocupo sin el tu. El say va con el tu. Mientras que el tel va sin el tu. All right, so I okay. say, uh, could you say to him not to open the door? Si voy a usar el verbo say en lugar del verbo tell, lo cual está perfecto, solo que tengo que recordar que con el say, si voy a usar la preposición to, to him. Could you say to him not to open the door? Mientras ah, que cuando okay. ocupo el tell, ahí, ahí está bien, ¿verdad? Would you tell Marcos to eat? All the food to eat porque se vuelve impera, se vuelve infinitivo to eat. Sí, abajo está el, to eat. Ah, yeah, 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 lo veo, yeah, lo veo. Would you tell Marcos to eat all the food? Very good. Can you say to Jose to wash the clothes? All right. So acuérdese que cuando use el say, digo, can you say to your mom to come to the meeting? I don't say could you tell could you say your mom? Could you say to your mom? Cuando ocupo el say, esa es la diferencia entre el uso del say y el tell. El say va seguido de, de la, de la um, preposición to, uh -huh. Uh -huh. mientras que el tell no, ¿verdad? Va directo con el objeto. Tell him, tell her, tell me, tell you. Entonces aquí sería, can you say to Jose? That's right. To okay, wash the clothes. To him, ¿verdad? Cualquiera de las dos. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Solo que tiene que usar el to. Ok. Okay, uh, Gerardo, you had a question? Yes, in the in the in the verb, uh, don't don't add the s or es at the verb infinity. This is infinitive, Gerardo. And if it's infinitive, what it is is that you're not conjugating it. Okay. Uh huh. So in the because it is infinitive, you cannot conjugate it. Uh, plus, you're using a modal verb. So would you tell him to come to the to the school or to come to school? You don't use the verb. I mean, there's no inflection and there's no change on the verb because it's infinitive. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. Right. Did you have any other question? No, teacher. Okay, very good. We're going to go back right now. So okay. I want to show you something here, okay? Just to make sure. Your mic is off. Your mic is off. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I heard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, just let me uh, fix it because it's a little too small for you to see. Hold on. <clears throat> Okay. All right, so this is pretty much what we were talking about. And I just want you to know this. All right, so we're talking about indirect requests. Okay, so we have has happened. Um, let me see who can read it. Someone to read it. Lizzie, Walter, can you read it? Anybody? Indirect requests? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, uh, go ahead, Walter. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lizzie, go ahead, please. <laughs> uh, indirect request. Indirect request happen when a person asks another person to tell, order, or ask something to a third person. Indirect requests are used when you want to tell someone to do something 
tell someone some information, ask someone to do something, ask someone for some information, yes or not, mm -hmm. ask someone for some information, open and then. The yes, thank you, Lizzy. Uh, the yes or no or open ended. We're gonna keep on talking about those tomorrow. All right. But right now, what I want you, what I want you to see is this: when to use indirect requests. Okay, they happen when a person asks another person to tell, order, or ask something to a third person. Aquí hablamos de una tercera persona. All right. Indirect requests are used when you want to tell someone to do something tell someone some information or ask someone to do something like a request okay that's why we're like we have these here okay estas aquí están las cuatro que vamos las dos que estábamos estamos viendo ahora y las de mañana y esto es como usted lo va a formar okay yo creo que eso les va a ayudar un poquito para que no chiblen en la loma como dice él no, no way. <laughs> okay so for number one we have can and we have or we can say could you, y si usted le quiere poner el please, si se oye aún, como acuérdese que es a request, se oye como más formal o más nice, ok, pero si no, lo puede omitir igual que el that, lo omito, si quiero. Could, can you, or could lo you? Omito. <ríe> lo omito. Lo <ríe> omito. Uh, can you, uh, can you, ya me perdí, uh, can you tell, or you can say ask, cualquiera, vamos a estar jugando con esos dos verbos, tell or ask, porque son request, y luego el tom, que sería el object, plus that, si lo quiero usar, o lo omito, plus the original statement, este el número uno, es el primero que estamos, lo teníamos en la, misma, en la plataforma, que son statements, ok, entonces nos queda, can you please tell Tom, I'll be waiting for him at the movies, ok, So you can also use would in indirect request. Puedo usar can, could, or would, okay? Two, I have indirect requests and imperatives. I have can, could, tell, or ask, Tom, el not, si fuese negative, or a plus the infinitive. Can you tell Tom not to use my laptop? Or could you ask Tom to bring me my laptop, okay? So, esa es como la estructura que tienen que seguir. Do you understand that? Yo creo que, bueno, en los ejemplos que vi, que habían hecho, estaban siguiendo como ese patrón. Ese es el patrón que tienen que seguir. For number okay. one and for number two. Igual. Teacher, all, dígame, ya, Lizzy. Sorry, teacher, always we have to use two. Because if, if, en el number two. En el imperative, sí, Lizzy. Porque se, eh, se vuelve infinitive. Ok, thank you. Ok, otra cosa, Gerardo. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Lizzy. Um, Gerardo was asking me a question. Le preguntaba a Gerardo, el verbo no tiene cambio. Pues si estoy hablando de una tercera persona, no porque va en infinitivo. Y si va en infinitivo, quiere decir que no lo conjugo. O sin jugo, como decía él, ¿verdad? Eh, no hago ninguna conjugación, entonces me queda el verbo tal cual es. Can you tell Tom not to use? No voy a decir en ningún momento que <coughs> no to use es. ¿Verdad? No, no aplica ahí porque estoy usando infinitivo. All right, infinitivo es to use my laptop en este caso. ¿Ya? Esas son como las reglas que se tienen que recordar para que puedan hacer de una imperative la puedan pasar a un indirect request, ¿verdad? Y sabemos, uh, tendré, tendríamos que saber que el cambio es inmediato de imperative se vuelve infinitivo. Ese es como el juego que tengo que hacer. All right? Mientras que en la primera, el original statement queda igual. Como se fijaron en que estaba la primera, y el, ver, mm -hmm. el tiempo verbal era igual, tanto en, en direct mm -hmm. como indirect. ¿Ok? Y acá, vuelvo y repito, no usamos ni el don't ni el doesn't, ¿verdad? Porque como está en infinitivo, entonces solo ocupo el not. Porque eso me limita a que no estoy conjugando ni en tercera persona, ni en presente, ni en pasado, ni sí. nada. Es el not. ¿Ya? Sí. Yes. All right. Ok. Ok. And then, tomorrow. Teacher. Yes. Este... Puedo preguntar así, 
Could you request Anna not to smoke too much? Yes, nice sentence, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good, yes. Excellent. All right. So tomorrow, guys, we're going to continue here. I'm going to, oops, I'm not on that. Hold on. Tomorrow, we're going to continue with the other, um, let me see, I don't have them here, with the other two that we had on the platform, which is this one. All right. Hold on. <sighs> Se desmayó, ya son las 10. Ay, no, José es always telling me. José, you're so nice. Ya, ya casi, José, ya casi. Eh, indirect requests, acuérdese que ahora es statements and imperative. Okay, tomorrow, yes, no questions and WH questions. Igual, trate de estudiarlo antes de que entre en la clase para que sepa qué hacer. Yes, no question. ¿Cuál es el cambio que voy a tener from this to this? I mean, from yes, no questions to indirect request and from WH questions to indirect requests, ¿ok? Acuérdense que cuando hablamos de WH questions, we can use when, where, how, why, who, which, all right, WH question words, all right? And when we talk about yes, no questions, when we switch them to request, we have to use if or we have to use whether. All right, so please study the platform before we enter tomorrow to class so you know what we're talking about, okay? So tomorrow we're going to study number three and we're going to study number four. Okay, guys? Okay. Yeah? Okay. Do you have any questions? Okay. Teacher. No? Yes? Can, can you please share your presentation for us, please? Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to send it to you right away. Igual el video lo subo hoy más noche por, si, por si quieren verlo, ¿verdad? Si no, como hay que despertarnos temprano. Yo no estoy en el grupo. ¿Quién es yo, Lizzy? Sí. ¿Por qué, Lizzy? No sé, yo lo puse, yo puse ahí agregarme a WhatsApp y no me salió nada, no he estado recibiendo nada. Mm. Desde su correo, Lizzy. Oh, al correo, si no me he dado tiempo de revisar. Revise, revise no, el de tu correo entra. Ajá, ah, de sí, de mi correo entra. entré y no me... De mi correo quise entrar y no me salió. Mm. Le digo a cualquiera de los asesores. Sí, porfa, porque ese, ese tema sí no lo veo yo. Pero sí, dígale a Jason mañana. Para que le ayude. Ah, está bien. Y cuando ya esté, Lizzy, si quiere, escribe en el grupo para que yo vuelva a mandar la presentación. La voy a mandar ahorita y la vuelvo a mandar mañana ya cuando se esté agregada. All right? Bueno, gracias. Very good. Okay. Tan buena gente se oye hoy. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. La queremos mucho. Siempre, ya sé que me... <risa> Es que lo es. Vaya, ya ve, Lizzy, si me quiere el mesito. <laughs> okay guys so thank you so much i'll see you tomorrow please work on the platform no se me quede atrás con eso all right all right teacher okay. thank, you. thank you a good night no salgan good night good night good night, good night. Good night. Bye. 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 tomorrow